Hey, our friends, they're gonna be drawing a backpack. Yeah, when it's folded up, it'll look like a regular backpack. And then when it opens, it'll look like a monster. Yeah. Eating school supplies <laughs> and maybe homework. Yes. We hope you're gonna follow along. You need your drawing supplies, some paper, and something to color with. All right, you ready to start? Yes. Let's first fold our paper. So we'll put our markers off to the side. We're gonna take the top edge of our paper and line it up with the bottom edge and then crease it down the middle and then out to the corners. Then we can take that top flap and fold it back up to the top edge, crease it down the middle and out to the edges. And this is a folding surprise. So if, if you've done one of these lessons before, you can always skip ahead because we're doing the same steps that we always do. Yes. Now let's flip over our paper and repeat that same step. We're gonna take the top flap and fold it up to the top edge. Crease it down. Now this last fold is just a guide fold. So we can unfold it and flatten it out and then flip it back over. So it should open like this when we're all done. Next, we'll put scratch paper underneath our drawing paper. This is just to protect our table from our markers. Now we're ready to draw and we're gonna draw our backpack so that half of the backpack is on the top part and the other half is on the bottom part. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna draw a big upside down U shape for the main shape of our backpack. We'll start over here and I'm gonna draw, we're gonna come up over the fold. We're gonna go really close to the top of our paper and then we're gonna come back down on the other side. Next, let's connect the bottom with a curve in the corner and then come over to the other side and then curve up to the other side. That's the main shape of our backpack. Let's add extra details. We're gonna draw a little crescent shape at the top of our backpack. This is gonna make it look more three dimensional. Let's also add a pocket on the front. This is also going to be the mouth. So <laughs> let's first draw a curve that comes up and then over to the other side and then back down. This is above the fold. Then let's draw the bottom of the pocket. We're gonna connect over here, curve down and match the outside shape of our backpack until we get over to the other side of our pocket. I'm gonna turn my paper a little sideways so it's easier to draw, but we're gonna draw a line that goes across the bottom of the fold. We can also go back over this line and draw another line that's above the fold. That way when you open it up, you can see the line on top and then also on the bottom. There you go, and then you can draw another line on top of the fold. There you go. It'll look extra thick. Yes. Nice, that's perfect. Let's also add a little zipper. We can draw a little triangle shape. That's the open and close the pocket. Although it's gonna be a big mouth when we open it. Yeah. We can also add a little pocket on the side of our backpack. We draw a little rectangle shape on the left and then also on the right. Let's draw the little handle at the top of our backpack. We can draw an upside down U. Oh, if we want, we could add another one inside to make it look thicker. Next, let's draw the straps. I'm gonna start right next to the little handle. We're gonna come curve up, over, and then we're gonna come all the way down and connect to the pocket down here. Let's repeat that same step on the right side. Start next to the handle, curve up, around, over the fold, and then into the pocket. That's, those are big straps. <laughs> yeah. Let's make it look more 3D. We're gonna start here, and we're gonna come up to the top and then curve in. We can add that same line on the other side. Come up and then curve in. Then we're gonna start here and we're gonna draw the other side of the strap coming down and we can connect to the pocket down here. And I'm gonna repeat that same step on the right side. Come down and then into the pocket. Mm -hmm. 
Let's add funny eyes to our backpack. We're gonna make it look cute when it's folded, but then when it's open, it'll be scary. Yeah. So we've got two circles, same size. We could also add a highlight, a smaller circle inside of each eye, and then let's color in the big circle, but leave that little circle white. We sped that part up, and if we ever go too fast, remember you can always- Pause the video. Yeah, for extra time. Now we're ready to open up our paper, and we can flatten it out so it's easier to draw on. We should have half of our backpack up here and the other half down here. This is the fun part. Let's draw the teeth next. We're gonna draw a line right down the middle. We're gonna draw our front teeth first. And then over here, I'm gonna draw a straight line coming across. Then we're gonna curve or draw a line up and then curve in and connect to that first line. Let's repeat that same step for another tooth. We're gonna draw a line out, we'll draw a line up, and then right at the top, we'll curve in. Let's do that a couple more times. I'm gonna go a little faster since we're repeating the same step. Maybe we can fit one more tooth in. There we go. And then right here at the end, see the backpack? I'm gonna draw a curve that comes in for the gums and it's gonna to connect to the tooth. Let's repeat all of those same steps on the right side. We'll draw a line coming out, up, and then curve in. I'm gonna repeat that a couple more times. I'm gonna add one more tooth right here at the end and then curve in and then that line to connect the edge of the backpack to the teeth. All right, we did it. There's our top row of teeth. Let's draw the bottom row next. We're gonna repeat the same steps except flipped. Let's draw the center line first. Then we can draw a line coming out to the left, down, and then curve in. Okay, let's repeat that again, all the way to the edge of the backpack. <laughs> Super funny. Yeah. <laughs> and then a line to connect the backpack up to the teeth. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Line out, curve around, and in. And then repeat that same step all the way to the edge. I have fit one more in, and then connect down to the backpack. Now we need to draw all the school supplies inside. Let's first draw a pencil. We'll draw two lines coming up. And then up at the top, we can connect these two lines with an upside down V. Oh, maybe this could be a crayon. We could add two horizontal lines up there at the top and then two down at the bottom. Let's add a couple more crayons. I'm gonna go a little faster just repeating the same step. We can add those two horizontal lines coming across. Oh, let's do one more crayon right next to this one. Add the horizontal lines. <laughs> I would not like to have this backpack. <laughs> Let's draw a paintbrush next. We can draw two more vertical lines coming up. Maybe they're a little bit longer than the crayons. And then up at the top, we can draw two horizontal lines. And then let's draw the paintbrush. I'm gonna draw an S curve first and then a big curve coming all the way down to reconnect down here. Let's add a book next. We're gonna draw a longer line coming up here. Oh, I'm gonna imagine that going through the paintbrush and then coming out down here and connecting to the teeth. Then let's draw the top of the book coming across. And then I'm gonna draw it coming back down Let's make it look more 3D. I'm gonna draw another diagonal line coming up. You could draw it really close, yeah. Then at the top, let's draw a diagonal line coming down and then draw another one going across like that. Let's draw the pages in the book next. I'm gonna draw another vertical line coming right next to that one. And then we'll connect to the other side of the book cover. And then right here, on the corner, we can draw a line down to the pages. That looks really cool, Jack, good job. Thanks. On this other side, let's draw paper. I'm gonna draw a line coming behind the paintbrush out to the side. 
and then let's connect down to the teeth. Oh, let's repeat that right next to it and it will look like another page of paper. Oh, I'm going to do another one on the outside too. What are we missing? A ruler. Yeah, let's add, let's add a ruler. I'm going to draw a rectangle shape right next to all of the paper or inside of the paper. Let's draw little short lines going down the ruler. Let's add another book behind all of the paper. You also have more room over here. So mine might look a little different, but that's okay. I'm going to draw the top of the book first and then a diagonal line coming down here to the edge of the teeth. You have more space. That looks awesome. You could draw the top of the book a little wider. Then I'm going to draw the other side of the book. Let's make the book look more 3D. I'm going to draw a diagonal line from the top right edge. Then we'll match the top of the book coming across. Let's draw the paper inside. I'm going to draw another line coming across and then down. And then let's draw the other side of the cover coming down also. We could add even more art supplies, but let's leave it just like that. Let's draw the rest of the backpack. We're going to draw the back of the mouth. We can draw the line on the left and also on the right. Then let's draw another line right next to those lines. Then let's connect the backpack straps. This one I'm going to draw, I'm going to start on the inside. It's going to go behind the books. I'm going to imagine it coming out from behind the book and down connecting to the bottom. Let's do the same thing on the outside of the strap. Connect all the way down. But we could also draw a little buckle. Let's draw two horizontal lines. And then we could draw the little end of the strap curving out and then connecting back in. Let's repeat those same steps on the right side. We'll connect the inside down to the bottom. And then let's repeat that for the outside of the strap. And then let's add that buckle in there too. We can draw the two horizontal lines. And then we'll add that extra or the end of the strap curving out and then connecting back in. Jack, we did it. We finished drawing our backpack monster. It looks really cool. Except we still need to color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video to match our same coloring. Or you could color your drawings any way you want. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Jack, we did it! We finished coloring our backpack monster. Let's show our friends the inside. On the count of three. One, One two, two, three! three. Feed me! <laughs> this brings all new meaning to my backpack ate my homework. Uh, wait, that's not how it goes. My dog ate my homework. Yeah, but now your backpack can eat your homework. <laughs> I love the inside. And we added a few more details. You guys can pause the video right now to match our same coloring. Or you can add even more things and color it differently. Yeah, you could add your sack lunch. Oh, yeah. you could add an apple and oh, maybe your sandwich is flying out. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you have fun drawing your backpack monster. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we hope you take time to color your drawings and add extra things to the inside. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.